Hello and welcome to Learn Yourself. Today we are going to study about kinetic energy. This topic is under ICSC standard 8 syllabus from the chapter number 1, matter. What is kinetic energy? We all know that particle of solid state, liquid state and gaseous state are in continuous motion. Yes, they are differing in their particular motion like solid will vibrate or they will move at their own space. They will not leave their space because they do not have space and they are close back structure. So, solid will vibrate whereas liquids are free to move and the gases are in a random motion. So, they all are in continuous motion. Because of this motion, so they possess the energy. And this energy is called kinetic energy. This is again depending upon how much space they do have in between two atoms. That's why they are differing in kinetic energy. They are differing in their intermolecular space. That's why they are differing in their motion. If they have space, they can move. If they do not have space, they cannot move. And this energy is completely depending upon their motion, how they are moving. So, if they do have space, they can move. If they don't have space, they cannot move. So, that's why the kinetic energy of solid is least. Because they are moving least compared to liquid and gas. Whereas the liquid they can move freely compared to solid but their motion is restricted compared to gas. So they have large amount of kinetic energy. Whereas the gaseous atom are having very large kinetic energy because their motion is random. Their intermolecular gaps are maximum compared to solid and liquid. So the kinetic energy what is kinetic energy? The particles are in continuous motion. So, they possess energy. Solid, liquid and gas, all the particles will do have the kinetic energy. But the amount of energy will differ according to their motion. So, solid will observe least kinetic energy. Liquid particles will have a large amount of energy. And gaseous atoms will have very large amount of kinetic energy. Let us study this in detail. Now let us understand kinetic theory of matter with respect to solid, liquid and gaseous state. So how the kinetic theory of matter will differ in solid, liquid and gas and why? We understood that what is kinetic energy. Now it in solid state, the interparticle space, the space between the particle, interparticle space is minimum. We know the structure of solid. They are tightly packed, closely packed. So, the space in between the particle is minimum. So, how about the attraction? The interparticle attraction will be maximum. And so, they cannot move. Now what is our kinetic energy? Since the particle of matter is in continuous motion, the energy possessed by the particle is kinetic energy or kinetic energy. So the energy possessed by particle of matter is least in the case of solid. Why? Because the solid particle cannot move freely. They cannot move randomly. So, compared to liquid and gas, the kinetic energy in the solid will be least because they cannot move. Now, let us understand for liquid. So, in liquid we know that interparticle space Now, let us understand for the liquid. In liquid we know that interparticle space is more than solid. 
That's why interparticle attraction is less than solid or we can say less. So the energy possessed by the particle is large. Because the attraction is less and they have space between them. And we all know that liquids can flow. So the energy possessed by particle, the particles of the liquid state are free to move. So that's why the energy possessed by the particle is large compared to solid. They cannot move where here in liquid state they can move. So energy possessed by the particle will be large in liquid state. Now in the gaseous state the interparticle space is maximum. So the interparticle attraction will be least. They have maximum space in between two atoms. So the attraction is least. Whereas the energy possessed by the particles will be very large in gaseous atoms. Why? Because they can move randomly and their attraction is least and they have maximum space in between them. So the particles are moving and that is because of the kinetic energy and they are moving freely randomly and they can move maximum compared to solid and liquid so that's why the energy possessed by the gaseous molecules will be very large one more time that in the solid the kinetic energy of the particle will be least because they cannot move whereas in the liquid the kinetic energy possessed by the particle is large. Whereas in the gas, the particle can move freely randomly. So the kinetic energy possessed by the gaseous particles are very very large. This is all about kinetic energy. What is kinetic energy? Kinetic energy is energy possessed by the molecules. So the molecules which can move least are having least energy. The molecules which can move freely will have large energy. But the molecules which are freely move, randomly move like gaseous state, they are possessing large and very large amount of kinetic energy.